Hi everyone, it's Lena again. Just wanted to show this banner that I've been working on. I've made this with someone in mind, but I won't say her name because she doesn't know she's getting it and I want it to be a surprise. So this banner here, this is my first banner that I've actually made. And I am in love with the colors, the style, the cuts, the embellishments, the bling on it, you name it, I love it. So... I'm sorry if the lighting is not the greatest, but I've had to hang it on my wall since it's pretty large and it doesn't film properly on my desk. But I uh, just wanted to show an overall view of it. And now I'm just going to switch positions and show you it on my desk. Okay, so I'm back. And I know that this angle is not any better, but this piece is pretty large and so it's fairly difficult to... Um, to film and to capture all in frame but I've showed you it um, on the wall and now I'm just going to show you the individual banners so that you have a better idea of what it looks like um, as a whole so okay so I started off with um, layering two sheets of paper so the box of it are just plain black cardstock and then I've taken the um, metal lark um, design paper and that's uh, by my mind's eye I believe um, and I've used the whole pack there is black and white shades and patterns and designs and so I've taken a couple sheets and I've used them. Um, so this first one here is this black and black and white um, flower detail, and I've just edged everything with um, pink uh, distress ink. So I made this little rosette here, and I spelt out uh, create, which I thought would be nice for my partner's craft room. Um, or craft area and I used a pretty nice font it's kind of hard to see um, on camera since it's I used a pearl black um, paper to cut it out but uh, it says create and then what I did is I cut a couple dress forms in the same pearl paper but in pink and I've just dressed the the dress form up a bit so I added a little belt if you can see underneath I used some iridescent sequin trim and I added some pearls uh, as a necklace and then I used this cute little resin flower as a little I guess belt accent in the corner in the bottom um, corner here I did just um, a little mix of flowers so I have some mulberry flowers here um, sprayed with glimmer mist and some little tiny pink ones a button I used the wire from the stem um, of the roses and curled those a bit I added a button and a black um, where is it right there black resin flower as well and some swirl bling in the background then for the R what I did is I have the same paper rosettes throughout um, and um, I've just placed um, little bunches of things in different corners. Um, the same bling is on every pennant. See? Um, in the bottom of this one, I placed a little birdie with some buttons. And then in this corner here, I've placed a little clay flower, a, um, a pink one and a white one, and then two mulberry flowers, a little button, a die cut key. And um, a key charm and lock charm. Then in the next one, this one is probably the plainest of all. Um, and I didn't want it to be super crazy because there's a lot of detail in each of the pennants. And so I didn't want it to be like overkill um, busy. So the same paper rosette and then a cutout E. And then I added some pink buttons, some pink mulberry flowers, a little turquoise um, mul um, resin flower, a little white one, a key, and then a little um, heart embellishment. 
that's that one. And then for the A is um, this is cut on a darker um, piece of cardstock, but if you can tell very faintly in the background, you can see um, little tiny, tiny black, I mean, uh, light pink um, bouquets or flourishes and flowers and such. So then I made the same rosette and I edged that in the black. All of the rosettes are edged in stays on ink. I thought that tied in with the tied in well with the theme of black and pink and white. And here we just have some satin um, leaves that I've dyed, and some resin flowers, some buttons, and a feather in the background. And there's another dress form with some black sequin this time, and some pearl around her neck as a black as a um, necklace. Then this one here is um, pretty simple as well but the paper was a little more vibrant <laughs> as far as design goes so I wanted to keep it a little toned down as well. Um, I didn't want everything to compete with each other as far as design goes because what's the point afterwards of making something you've put so much design um, into if it's not going to be noticed or you know it's going to be fighting with another element in your design so um, that's a good tip for other crafters as well you know sometimes keeping something simple is the best um, route of um, designing something so I have a little die cut key here cut from pink pearl paper with a little um, clay flower and just a little bunch of um, flowers and made out of mulberry and some are clay and some are resin some buttons tucked in there and another little um, birdie I think those are so sweet I love them and lastly the last E is just a bunch of um, flowers here in the bottom with the satin leaves a little key some buttons and I just added some of the iridescent sequin here in the corner and lastly, how I strung it was um, with this wide satin ribbon. I just thought it tied in with the theme very well. So um, that is my banner. And I'll have pictures at the tail end of this video uh, with a little more, um, a little more detail. <laughs> Thanks guys so much for watching and I hope my partner enjoys this. Thanks so much. Take care.